What's going on guys? If you've ever tried to use third-party Xbox 360 wireless receivers that you buy online, you've probably run into an issue where the drivers won't install properly. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to fix that problem. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna download the files that I provided in the description. And after that, you're gonna end up with this Xbox 360 folder. If you take a look in there, there are two folders. I labeled them type one and type two. And the reason for this is I found out that there are two different kinds of adapters most commonly found out there in the wild that have slightly different USB IDs. Now all credit for these files go to s-config.com. All I did is I went ahead and I modified it a little bit because again, I found out that there are actually other adapters that have a different hardware ID than their files originally included. So the first thing you wanna to do to find out which one of these you have is you go to the device manager. So I'm gonna to go to the start menu and type device and I'm gonna select device manager. And by the way, if you guys have Windows 10, it's a little bit easier to get this done. I'm on Windows 7 right now, so I'm actually gonna show you real quick what you have to do is if you're on Windows 10. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my adapter. And you can see on the bottom right, it says that the installation was not successful and it shows up here as unknown device. So if you're on Windows 10, you can right click this, go to properties, go to update driver, go to browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list and go ahead and scroll all the way down. When you scroll all the way down, you're gonna end up with this image right here. And you're gonna choose Xbox 360 peripherals. And after that, you're gonna see that it says Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. You select that, you click next, you let it install and you're all done. Okay, so if you're on Windows 7, you wanna go ahead and right click the unknown device, go to properties. And first we wanna find out which USB ID we have. So if we go to details, and we go right here to hardware IDs. You can see that this one says 0291. So for this one, we're gonna be looking at this folder right here, 0291. If yours says 02A9, you choose this folder. If yours says something else, which I doubt it will, you can go ahead and open either one of these and go ahead and open the USB21.inf file. Go ahead and edit that. And you wanna scroll down and you're gonna change this here to yours to match your number. You're gonna do it on this one as well and here and also right here. And then you're gonna go ahead and save this and then you can continue with this tutorial. So now that we know we have 0291, we're gonna go ahead to general, update driver, and we're gonna to go to browse my computer for driver software. And we're gonna point it to the folder that you downloaded from me. Mine is on the desktop right here, Xbox 360 Chinese receiver drivers. And then we're gonna choose the folder that corresponds to the hardware ID that you have. Click okay click next. It's going to prompt you with this right here. And the reason for this is because it's saying that the driver is not signed. And the reason it's not signed is because of those modifications that were done in the INF file. So don't worry about this. It's not a virus or anything like that. So go ahead and click install this driver anyway. And you're going to see that the installation was successful. And if you close this out, close this out, it now shows up under Xbox 360 wireless receiver, and it no longer says unknown device. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for this one. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.